Welcome back to 17 on set. This year marks 18 years since thousands of people lost their lives on 9-11 and joining us this morning to tell us more about a local ceremony to remember 9-11 are Bakersfield Police Chief Lyle Martin and Bakersfield Fire Chief Anthony Galagaza. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. So we have a big event coming up on Wednesday to Thank honor you. those who we lost in 9-11 and can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, uh, Wednesday, September 11th at 8.30, we will be having a ceremony, our Always Remember ceremony. Uh, we find it really important considering that of the 2,977 individuals that passed away that day, that tragic day, um, that 412 were first responders. Those first responders rescued 14,000 people, It's what the estimate is, that were ushered out of that building. And we think it's important as far as that is, and also the military to honor them and what, the sacrifices they made that day and always remember that day. And then we want to never forget. And it'll be at 8.30, 13.15 Buena Vista Road. And we're excited about it every year because we want the community here to embrace that and never forget. It's a joint event. And Chief Lyle Martin, why is it important for your department to be a part of this? You know, 71 law enforcement officers died that day as well, but um, most of the folks who have been in law enforcement can tell you, they can tell you exactly where they were when that happened. I mean, I remember I was a watch commander, and our watch commander's office isn't very big, and as I'm watching that, I was in there alone, but within the first 8 to 10 minutes, there were 45 law enforcement officers pushed into that small space, and we're watching that television, and we're realizing what is happening. And if you think about what's happened since then, um, the first responders who have died from medical complications since then, I mean, this is something that we will never forget. And why is it important that we don't forget that? Well, it's critical because those lives that were lost that day, um, we can't forget the civilian lives. We can't forget the first responders. But to us, it's just to make sure that daily we understand as a community what their first responders do. What the military did after that time, too, is so important for us to grasp and understand. And, it, and we changed that day as a country. I believe we came closer. Uh, we got to understand each other a lot better that day. And I think it's important for us to never forget that significant day. As we wrap up this interview, we'll ask, too, for those people coming, I know a lot of times people like to bring momentums or flowers is, is that something they can do on Wednesday absolutely they can uh, they can bring flowers whatever they would like to bring but we have carnations there also available for them and for the public and it'll be an amazing ceremony it'll be heartwarming and heart-wrenching at the same time but uh, it's important that the community uh, be there and everybody's invited Thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate you taking time out to talk about this. Thank you for having me. And we have more information about that on our website, kget.com. We hope to see you all out there, and we'll be right back after the break.